Hey, what's up, guys? It's me. It's Rob Theory, man. I'm the spiritual philanthropist. Some people know me as Rob Shiva, but I'm changing that to Rob Theory for a reason because I don't want to associate myself to any religious ideology like I did in the past. But moving on further, let's see. We, this this week has been a crazy week because we have uh, now the verdict on Trump, who has had 34 counts, and he's he's been uh, deemed guilty on all 34 counts. Uh, this sentencing schedule uh, for July 11th, 2024. Now, just think about that, guys. Um, all I want to say is I'm not going to take sides here, but I want to point out something that we must all think about. And also, uh, one of the most famous beings that I look up to ever on the planet uh, is who they call Jesus, but his name is Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus, that they call him the Christ, right? And I still stand by the fact that he said that uh, if any one of you have never committed a sin, please cast the first stone. That was the most brilliant thing ever that was ever said in history when it came to judgment. Okay? The reason that I'm saying that is that everybody is born with different abilities, different qualities, and all these things. I'm going to make this short. Because the reason I'm saying this is that we're judging each other so hard these days. We're not looking at all the good that a person is doing. We're just looking at the bad that they've done and emphasizing that and making it larger than anything else in the person's life. We could look at all of our lives and if somebody were to take any bad aspect of our lives and cast it onto social media or the news, they would be able to destroy any human being that they want. That's the power of social media, guys. It's called social media lynching is what I call it. So, look, I, like I said, I'm not going to stick up for anyone, but I will say this. First, let's take a look at this and see what they're actually saying here. Okay. Thank you so much for that. As you heard the retired judge say there, American history, legal history, people are going to be talking about this 100 years from now. Well, we're going to turn things over to Teresa Perillo, who's been talking to people there on the streets in lower Manhattan. Teresa, the reaction that you've gotten from people so far? It's been a long time that he's gotten away with just about anything. Finally, some accountability. That's how it feels. It's a very sad day for America. That's all I'm going to say. Why do you feel that way? Because this is political prosecution, and there's abs absolutely nothing behind this case. And um, I hope they appeal it. I'm kind of shocked that they actually found, found him guilty. Why are you shocked? Because people of his magnitude don't usually see the inside of a jail. And it still remains to be seen that he's actually going to see the inside of So guys, the reason I'm showing you this is that there's so many people that are up in arms about the idea of Trump. First of all, when he ran for president, and then he had, of course, a lot of people that are not the best people in the world uh, voting for him. But with Obama, you think that everybody that voted for Obama was completely innocent of everything as well? You know, you have to look at both sides. Where everybody's guilty and innocent. You know, everybody has a past. Everybody has said something and done something that they're not uh, proud of. That they're going to be ashamed of in the future you know if we truly live in in a place where we can bis basically socially lynch people without giving them any benefit at all i mean we're uh, uh the place is becoming a very sad country in many different ways the first thing i want to say is all those people that hate trump now and uh come against him in the way that they're doing like i said before christ said it best if you've never committed any sins then you've cast the first stone you know but there's so many people throwing stones now. It's like people forgot. They don't even know the, the this great uh, wisdom that was given to us. That's the sad part. Um, you know, the only thing that I can say is this people might not like it is that there's a lot of people from other countries that come here to America. And they don't want to admit it. But when you're younger and you saw first for, first saw Trump, everybody was attracted by the idea that Trump was the American dream or is the American dream. Why? Because he's a tall, blonde-headed, blue-eyed, white man that had a lot of money and a lot of prestige. And he was bold enough to go out and claim it. Okay? Has nothing to do with racism and all that stuff. Every man that comes to this country wants to be Trump. If they had a chance and God said, hey, I'm going to let you be Trump when he was younger and doing all the things he was. Do you think any man would say no to that? Why do you think they all came here to America to become that dream as well? They didn't come here to become any other dream but what they saw in Trump. All, that's all I'm going to say for that part of it. 
Yes, he did a lot of bad things, said a lot of bad things, but so did each and every single one of us. But I do believe that the reason that he's being kept out of the White House is because he can't be bought. That's my personal belief. I think that he has an ability to change his ways if given the chance. He's older now. He has children. He has daughters that he loves. All these thing are, are, things are redeemable characteristics. I hate the fact that people can use these things of people's past and put it into the future. Because we don't know the potential of anyone. In the Bible itself, it talks about uh, Saul who became Paul. He was a persecutor of Christians. The greatest of persecutors, if, if I'm correct. If I remember correct. And these people that have done so many bad things in the past have come out to do so many great things in the future. If they've been given a chance that's the thing. Each and every one of us should look that we could be next being put on that same uh, place, you know, and uh, being judged. You know, the only real true judge to me is God. There's no one else but God. But we've put ourselves in the position somehow that we believe that we have the ability to do this. And I think it's wrong. I really think it's wrong. I think that we need to wake up and start realizing that forgiveness is needed, especially in a person who has... I'm not saying the best track, track record in anything, but he pointed out and predicted what would happen. That give, give him some credit there, you know? He made mistakes along the way. Look, as long as he comes back and apologizes and speaks from his heart about that, no one is perfect. We all need to have a chance. That's all I'm saying. Because look at R. Kelly and all these other people that are being held up on all these allegations. We are all human beings making mistakes as we go through this whatever the hell this is, the test of life or whatever you call it. Every single man, every single woman has made bad decisions in their lives. The only reason that some of them get called out is when they become rich and famous. Then all of a sudden, it seems like that's the reason that everybody has, uh, you know, the, the, the perp that's the purpose that everybody seems to have the reason for that purpose. That yes, it's our, our uh, uh, purpose in life to go and judge them and chastise them and berate them in front of the entire world if you don't think at some point that that is inhuman you have to think again this what's happening right now i guarantee you and i'm saying this as a prediction in the future is going to be outlawed why because it's unethical and inhumane in so many different ways you know and it teaches a mob mentality which is never a good mentality like i said look at the words of christ i'm not saying i'm a christian i believe in god I believe in the same God that Christ prayed to, actually. You know, that's all I'll say. But I'll say that the man, when he was here on earth, no wonder they wanted to kill him because he spoke with such eloquence and grace and had spiritual physics behind him to back it up. Guys, we got to start looking at things a much different way as we're getting older, especially, you know, and realize that we're all on the same path together, all of us. We're all here on this thing floating through space together, and we all have a certain amount of time and forgiveness is a really big quality we all need to have. I'm going to leave you guys with that. And I thank you guys for watching my videos. If you like what I'm saying, if you don't like it, that's fine. If you do and you want to see more of it, hit that like and sh uh, subscribe button. And that's going to help me out a great deal. I can really appreciate it. I'm going to put, be putting more stuff up. And I'm going to always speak the truth, guys. I'm not going to hold back. You know, uh, and I'd like to have conversation with you guys. Conversation is what creates a solution eventually. Not arguments, but conversation, you know, trying to understand each other. Guys, I'll leave you, leave you with that. Have a great day, and I wish that God blesses each and every one of us and that we all live a peaceful life and forgive one another. All right, guys, take it easy. Ooh.